Come along with John Madden, Super Bowl 16. The first time these two played, December the 6th, Cincinnati had six turnovers. The final score was 21 to 3 San Francisco. Today's story, Cincinnati had two San Francisco. I think this quality and the sound isn't bad now, but I'm here like firing up the frickin' blow dryer. Just to let you guys know, I'm aware that the quality is poor, the sound is poor. I'm merely, really just doing this to back up my Super Bowl videos. I'm actually not even a Niner fan, I just thought this was a great Super Bowl and a great team. I'm a Cowboys fan, believe it or not. So, this was a bittersweet Super Bowl. But, um, so save your comments. Just don't watch it. Why are you even here? You know, you're here to complain. I swear to God, YouTube users are the, or commenters are the scourge of the earth. Except for the people that leave nice comments. <laughs> Obviously, Montana is great, but if you're not a Bengals fan, you might want to take a look at Kenny Anderson's career numbers. They're pretty impressive, and considering the era that he played in, I mean, the guy had longevity, and he had incredible, incredibly high completion percentage for the era that he played in, not to mention just... Overall, his statistics, touchdowns, and yards for the year that he played in are, are pretty phenomenal. He's a really underrated NFL quarterback, great NFL quarterback. And like I said, I'm not a Niner fan or a Bengal fan by any means, but you really have to respect uh, Kenny Anderson. Very underrated quarterback. Like I said, if you're a fan of football and football statistics and you don't already know so or haven't done so, look up Kenny Anderson's career statistics. It's, uh, it's good. Pretty impressive. Bill Walsh <laughs> uh, used to coach Ken Anderson when he was offensive coordinator for the Bengals, so it's not surprising uh, that uh, Anderson <laughs> has the numbers he does uh, being under the tutelage of Bill Walsh early on in his career, and uh, he just continued. Benjamin number seven, who signals him into Joe Montana. That doesn't necessarily mean that he will use him in that order. He just wants to get 
common practice nowadays to script your plays. But, uh, once again, Bill Walsh ahead of his time on 1981. If I haven't seen that play a million times from the West Coast offense or the 49ers, rolling out right, either he's the receiver or the tight end on a crossing pattern or drag pattern. Said Dan Fouts. I would say not Dan Fouts, but I believe number seven was Guy Benjamin. Handoff to the fleet of Fort Dwight Clark. I imagine that play was successful too many times during the season. And of course, penalty helps. Cincinnati. First foul, number 55, defense. 